Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the free website design course. In the last section, we discussed about a Google Analytics and Google Search Console. We installed the Google SiteKit plugin on the website and we connected our website to Google Analytics and Google Search Console. Now, both the tools, Google Search Console and Google Analytics will be very helpful while doing search engine optimization. These tools will help us to improve the ranking of our website. In this section, we will discuss about the speed of our website. Why do you need to concentrate on the speed of our website? You have a beautiful website and it is ranking higher in the Google search results. Now, when someone clicks on your website and it takes forever to open the page, what will happen? People will leave your website and they will go to another search result. So that's why we need to concentrate on the speed of our website and we will need to improve the page speed of our website. Now let's see how to check the speed of our website and some tips to avoid slow website. And we will install some free plugins to improve the speed of our website. So let's start with the video. Those who are watching this video for the first time, check out the playlist of my completely free website design course on my YouTube channel. It's a completely free in-depth website design course for beginners, the business owners and those who want to start a career in website designing. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming new free online courses. Getting a page speed of 100 for a WordPress website is very difficult. So we will not concentrate on getting 100 page speed. We will discuss about how to get page speed between 85 to 98. Some tips to avoid slow website. First, do not use unnecessary plugins. If you are running many plugins which are not useful, then just delete them. Avoid fancy style websites with a lot of images and animations. Animations and fancy scripts will slow down the website. And try to avoid uh, heavy images, HD images, at least on the home page of your website. Try to avoid a lot of sliders or galleries on the home page itself. Create a separate gallery page or images page let's put them on a separate page this way home page will be faster use good hosting service provider avoid cheap hosting service provider and if possible go for a cloud hosting service i have been using hostgator hosting service for a long time and recently i switched over to cloud hosting wordpress themes will also make a difference to the page speed okay now let's see how to check the speed of the website okay Let's go to google.com, search for Google page speed. This is the tool provided by Google. So we can go to this link, page speed insights and enter the domain of your website or any web page URL that you want to check the speed and click analyze. All right, so this is the result we are getting from Google page speed. The speed for the mobile website shows 36 and the speed for desktop shows 77 so this is one of the tool the free tool given by google to check the speed of our, your website here you will see why the uh, speed is slow these are the reasons the speed of your website is slow okay now there is another website you can try that one gtmetrics.com this website will also show you the speed of your website let's try you can enter the domain of your website or you can try any web page URL or any other web page also. Click on test your site. I think it's going through the page of the website. Still analyzing. Okay, so here is the report. You will see difference between both the reports. It shows 76% and here is the result. The detailed result is here. Okay. So we will use some free plugins to increase the speed of our website. So let's go to plugins, click on add new. Now look for the plugin Smush, S-M-U-S-H. You see this Smush, lazy load images, optimize and compress images. Click on install now, click on activate. Now here is the plugin, click on it. Now it's going through our website. It's going through all the uh, images. Click next. 
optimize automatically optimize new uploads so whenever you upload any image it will go it will compress that image automatically so leave it as it is click next strip my image metadata this keep it as it is click next enable lazy loading yes we want to enable the lazy loading that means whenever uh, whenever you scroll down you might have seen on some of the websites that images will load only when you scroll down to the page so that is what called as a lazy loading click next let's keep it off and click finish now it's going through the website and it's checking all the images we have on the website okay it shows that there are 13 images now we can click on bulk as much now now it is going through all the images and it is going to compress all the images this is a free plugin and the thing is that in the free plugin you can compress up to 50 images at a time okay you can compress 50 images then refresh it then again compress another 50 images if you have many images okay it's done now all the attachments have been smushed total savings 32 kb okay okay now let's see other settings let's leave it as it is we have already enabled the lazy load that's good okay done so this one is done all right now let's install another plugin go to plugins click on add new this one is also a free plugin look for w3 total cache this is the plugin click on install now activate it this is the plugin click on it now we will go through some of the settings of this plugin all right so we are on the general settings enable the page cache leave it as it is minify enable it click on i understand the risk click on leave it as it is minify mode auto leave the other settings and it is already enabled all right now click on save settings let's go to minify now click on enable click on inline inline js minify settings leave it on enable let's make it minify only enable this one also and click save all settings now let's click on empty cache okay now refresh this page let's go here and retest analyze okay so i just re-ran the test and these are the results you can see the speed is now 86 and here the speed is now 86 so definitely there is some improvement uh, in page speeds now you can go ahead and play with the settings of this plugin you can change uh, page cache settings and you can try uh, changing minify settings also and check which setting is uh, useful for your uh, website page speed increasement so try with these settings and see which one works for you so using these two plugins we are able to improve the speed of our website now i have another paid plugin which uh, we will try so let's go ahead and first we will delete uh, the cache of this plugin okay now uh, deactivate this plugin only the w3 total cache plugin and instead of this plugin i'm going to install a paid plugin the plugin is wp rocket and uh, in the description box uh, i will i will give you the link to uh, buy this plugin if you want you can buy the plugin or you can continue with this free w3 total cash plugin so let me show you how this paid plugin works so i already have it downloaded so i'm just choosing that plugin and installing it now 
let's see how this paid plugin works the plugin is installed let me activate the plugin remember this is a paid plugin if you do not want to use paid plugin you can stay with the free w3 total cash plugin also you just need to play with some of the settings and that will definitely improve the speed of your website so let's uh, check the settings of this plugin here is plugin go to settings okay so it is cache is already enabled on minify css file activate check this box activate check this check this check this check this one also and check this one also save the changes then now go to media enable lazy load we are going to enable lazy load it says uh, lazy load is currently activated by smash so leave it as it is all right so these settings are done right now we are using the lazy load uh, from that smash plugin so now click on it and uh, click on clear cache then i'll just refresh this website page okay now let's check the speed again a retest all right so there is an improvement it was 86 now it is 89 let's check this one here this is the mobile speed and this is the desktop speed so not a lot of improvement let's try using the lazy load from disable the lazy load from smash now we are disabling the lazy load from smash deactivate okay now let's go back to wp rocket settings go to media enable enable check it save changes clear cache Now let's go back and retest. Let's run the test here also. Now I'll also show you how my other websites are getting page speed above 90. And I'm using the same WP Rocket plugin on those websites. Now this may be on this page, uh, we have a lot of images. So that could be the reason it's not getting that above 90 speed. It shows 88 now. Okay, let me let me try an internal page. Let's try with some internal page. Let's try this one. Website design. Copy link and check the speed of this page. Let's try it here also. And now you see this mobile speed is more than 67 now. It's around 67 and the desktop speed is 88 so definitely there is an improvement uh, as we are using less images the speed is increased uh, you see 97 this is an excellent speed so now on the home page we have uh, almost i guess uh, seven to eight images so that could be the reason why we are we were getting low speed so we can reduce the size of the image or we can simply remove these images and it will improve the speed of the home page but i'll leave it as it is anything above 85 is good for me let me show you one of my website page speed let's try this page is about uh, ahrefs uh, tool the free trial of ahrefs seo tool let's check the speed of this page let me put it here and on this uh, website, I'm using the WP Rocket plugin. Now you see the mobile speed is 73 and the desktop is uh, 77. Now here you see the speed is 97. You can see this page is too big 
It has around 3,000 words and many images. And it's also running ads. So this is one of the big page. Let's try this one. This one is around 4,000 words page. Now you see this mobile speed is 81. The desktop is 6, 76. Let's try another page. This is the page. This is a blog about Google Search Console. You will see all the settings here, how to install it. This is an old blog. And it's a big one. You can see it's going down and down. It has many images also running ads on this page. It's a big one. Now let's check the speed. 68 on mobile. Desktop is 92. Check it here, 97%. So using these plugins, you will be able to increase the speed of your website. If you want, you can use the paid plugin, the WP Rocket. I'll give you the link in the description box. Or you can simply go with the free W3 Total Cache plugin. You will need to check some settings. You will need to play with the settings of this plugin and it will definitely help you improve the speed of your website. Now in the next section, we will discuss about search engine optimization. You have a good website, but if your website is not ranking in the Google search results, then there is no use of having a beautiful website. You need to work on search engine optimization so that your website will be able to rank higher in the Google search results. Optimizing your website for the search engines is called as search engine optimization. Now why search engine optimization is necessary? You are providing a good service, you have good products, but if they are not showing in the search results, then you won't get traffic to your website. If you optimize your website for search engines, you will get ranked higher in the search engines and you will definitely get free traffic to your website and you will see improvement in the traffic. So in the next section, we will discuss about a search engine optimization. So see you in the next section. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.